Welcome to After Hours with Dr. Sigaloff, where he can share ideas and thoughts with you. He gets to the heart of the issue so that you can find the truth. The views and opinions expressed are his and do not represent the U.S. Army, DOD, nor the U.S. government. Dr. Sigaloff was either off duty or on approved leave, and Dr. Sigaloff was not in uniform at the time of recording. Now, to Dr. Sigaloff. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this episode today. So I have a very special emergency broadcast that I want to get out, and I want you to help me push this message out to everyone that you possibly can. This very well may be the smoking gun that we've all been looking for. So I'm sure as, as many of you know, the military, DOD, has been providing Pfizer-labeled products, and they, they've had them available now, and mostly at the Coast Guard locations. Well, there was a a brave man that was able to get these, um, get a picture of these community labeled vials. And and you can see a picture of it here. Now, that same man, we'll call him Chad. Chad made a phone call today at lunch. That phone call was made on July 7th at lunchtime. Thank you for calling, Pfizer. This is Jackie. Yeah, hi. I had a question about a lot number of a product that my medical staff had provided for me. And I was trying to figure out the, the manufacturing location and dates for it. And our staff didn't know, and they directed me to call Pfizer. So I thought I'd give you guys a shout, see if you could look up a number for me. Um, no um, what's that lot number? The lot number is FW1331. And you need to know where it's manufactured at? Yeah, the question from our medical staff was, we because when it, when it came in, there was a... Uh, no other information with it, and some members are questioning where where it came from. So we're trying to identify the manufacturing location and also the date of when it was manufactured. It was manufactured in in January of this year. Okay, so January two thousand twenty two, it was manufactured. Okay. How about a location? Is there a Pfizer location? I know there's multiple across the country, or the world even. But Unfortunately, it doesn't give me that information. Huh. Is that kind of strange, or is that normal? No, that's kind of strange. And can I have your name, please? Yeah, my name's Chad, C-H-A-D. I think I found it. It's, it's manufacturing in France. Oh, manufacturing. Do you know what? Is there like a... Uh, like a facility or something that attached with that location in France? Nope. I don't know. Nope. Just France? Just, uh, just, France. Okay. Is that what it says, like manufactured in France? Yes. Okay. Is there any, I have no idea, but is there any way I can get like an email print off of that that I can provide to our medical staff or? Nope. No. No? Um... Okay. Is there, huh? Do you, do you see the expiration date by any chance for that lot number? Like you said, it's manufactured in January. Does it expire? I came out of that. Let's see. Nope. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> or even with that lot, does it show how many were produced as far as like a vial or box or doses? It, it doesn't give us that information. Okay. Expires in, um, it expires in December 31st of 2022. Okay. Sounds good. And then is there any chance, is there any way to track any shipping or locations that came through from, Fran- from no, France? Sir. No, sir. No? Okay. And last question for you, and thank you again for your time. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, last question no is, I, I, I talked to another Pfizer rep earlier today who gave me this number. Um, and I w- my, my question to him was based on the labeling. Do you, are you familiar with the, uh, if the approved labels, which he, he, he brought me to the Daily Med website. Are you familiar with that one? The Daily Med? Yeah, dailymed.nlm.nih.gov. It basically shows what the approved labeling should look like on these comirnaty vials. And the, okay. the, and the question I had when we looked at them online together was there's a red watermark that goes horizontally, or kind of actually diagonally across the label. And I didn't know if that watermark is supposed to be on the vials themselves as well, or, or if that was just part of the print off on the screen. So once it's, it's, just, it's not supposed to 
be on the vials itself, just on the box. Oh, so so the box is supposed to have the watermark? Yes, the label that's, that's on the box, yes. Okay, and, th- and that watermark, that would be like that kind of faint-looking red or orange kind of colored comirnaty diagonal lettering? That's correct. Okay. So if, if that lettering is not on the box, what does that mean? That I can't answer. You probably need to speak to someone in medical about that. Like at Pfizer Medical or my own medical? Pfizer Medical. Do you have any contact info for them? I could maybe call them? Sure. Their phone number is 888-273-7017. But if you'd like, I can transfer you over to them. Oh, yeah. No, that, that'd that be wonderful. I, I'd appreciate that. Um. Yeah, that's uh, it's just kind of curious because the the product they have it just didn't quite match what was thought to have supposed to come in, and that's why we're just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, but if it came from I France, may, but maybe if it came from France, then maybe it could be a different issue. Because if if it was from France, then would that be part of the uh, the European labeling, perhaps? That could be. That could be. Because maybe them over there okay okay and okay so what's really interesting about this is just the day before on 6 july i received an email from Pertish vora now he recently submitted a um amicus brief for something that i can't really talk about because i'm active duty um but if if you go look up his name you'll see what i'm talking about but he wrote an email and i was part of this email And he says, uh, regarding the European version of Comirnaty, I found a few important facts. According to the European Medicines Agency, these medicines have been given, quote, conditional approval. This means that there is more evidence to come about uh, this medicine. The European Medicine Agencies will review new information on this medicine at least every year, and this leaflet will be updated as necessary. And then he gave a link. Also, the European versions has all three, orange cap for kids, gray cap non-diluted, and purple cap requires dilution. Uh, Comirnaty Europe EU, purple cap, gray cap, orange cap package, insert label, and he gives a link to the pictures. Conclusion, there is not an equivalent to an FDA approval version of Comirnaty. Instead, it is pursuant to their version of EUA, and they call it CMA. The only difference in Europe is they can be marketed as Comirnaty, whereas in the United States, it cannot be market, marked or marketed unless it is actually FDA approved version. So let me, so what that means is if it's in Europe and it's their, their equivalent to EUA, they call it CMA, they can actually put the word Comirnaty on the label. In America, if it's EUA, they are not allowed to put Comirnaty on the label because it's not Comirnaty. So do you see what's going on here? He asked about a specific lot number. Foxtrot Whiskey 1331. The lady told us it was made in France. That's why it says Comernity on it. Perdish Vora goes on to say, the BLA compliant, the BLA quote compliant lot argument is and was a scam. No lot no such lots ever existed because they were manufactured before the approval date of August 23rd, 2021. For the two BLA compliant lots that were made after, uh, and he gives the lot numbers here, it's uh, Foxtrot Hotel 8027, Foxtrot Hotel 8028, were both subject to a self shelf life extension program by the FDA, which allows, in theory, the FDA to extend the, extend the expiration date to infinity as I clearly stated in the amicus brief for Coker vs. Austin. The labeling is everything. Remember, there was off-label, there was banning of off-label medications. Um, It happened at my institution. Well, that's why the label is so critically important. So, So he goes on to say, the labeling is everything. If the vials on the military bases do not display the red watermark showing Comirnaty, on the label, then it is most likely the scenario that they fake the labels for the military bases. Just my personal opinion, not a legal conclusion. Indeed, the DOD wants each member to sign a memorandum agreeing, uh, i.e. contracting, that they agree to receive BLA 
compliant vials of COVID-19 vaccine. So what they've done is they've tricked us. They brought in vials that say Comirnaty on them because the European legal system is different than the American legal system. Their version of EUA allows them to print the word Comirnaty on it. The lady that you just heard on the phone, the representative from Pfizer, said that that lot number was made in France. That seems like this is a huge issue. This is fraud. This is treason, if you will. If you go back and listen to my bioweapon lecture, please go back and listen to that show. I show you exactly how I believe that this is a bioweapon and how we've been at war since at least... March of 2020 when they made the emergency declaration because the only reasons they can make emergency declarations are for chemical, biologic, nuclear, or radiologic agents attacking U.S. citizens on U.S. soil, U.S. citizens on foreign soil, or against the military. Please share this as far and as wide as you can. Please like. Please leave comments. Please get this news out as quickly as possible. This may be one of the biggest things we've ever seen, one of the biggest frauds ever committed against the U.S. military, ever. And we're just now finding about this today, and I stayed up extra late tonight to get this message out to you. So please share this and get this out. Show this to your commanders. Show this to any officer that'll listen. Show this to any enlisted soldier that'll listen. Remember, it's not if you wanted to get it. It's about, did someone lie to you? Did someone trick you? And they have. And they need to be held responsible in the court of law. Thank you very much. Hold the line. And together we will all make courage more contagious than fear.